In this video, we'll see how to work on the alignment part. When I say alignment part, I'm talking about this alignment. I have some text which is given in this area. Okay, I want to align into different position vertically and horizontally. So how do I work on it? So usually what we do is we select the data. Okay, and we go to this alignment group in the home tab. And then we keep on selecting this values. There are six different areas. So this is top alignment, middle alignment, bottom alignment. You see that's vertically it is going for changing position. I'll do it again, top, middle and the bottom. Okay. Similarly, if you want to go in the horizontal manner, there's given as bottom one, left, middle and right. So this one is left, middle and right. So these are there. So I'll just keep my cursor on those area and you can see what is given here. It says as top align. Second one says as the middle align and third one it says as bottom align. Top, middle and the uh, bottom align. If I go to this place, it says align left center and it gives us align right. So these are different names which are given. But how do I work with the help of this macro VBA? If I want to change the alignment of this area, see the cell, cell area that is A1 to C5. I have data in A1 to C5. How do I change the alignment with the help of macro? Let us see that. So right now in the sheet, if you see that is K underscore alignment, I have written the data here. Excel VBA is the file name. Okay. And I've created here, I'll minimize this. I've created a module that is K underscore alignment. In this alignment module, I've created sub alignment. That's a sub procedure here. And now I've written some text here. Okay, let me explain you for the first time how it is written. If I want to change the alignment of this data, first thing is I have to give the range. Range A1 to C5. Range A1 to C5. And I want to change the alignment. So you can see here. range A1 to C5 dot and if you want to change the horizontal alignment you have to type as horizontal and you have to see this alignment so press a tab okay now once you press horizontal alignment I'll just move the screen okay and then you put a space type equal to and you can put what alignment you want in the horizontal you'll get us left right and the center part so I'll write as Excel left okay that's the that's it so range A1 to C5 dot horizontal alignment equal to excel left so if you remember for horizontal we have left right and we had the center so same thing if you copy paste i've done the same thing here excel left excel right and excel center so this three i've written here same way if you want the vertical alignment instead of horizontal alignment you can put as range a1 to c5 vertical alignment equal to here it comes left right and center here it will come as top bottom and center okay vertical top bottom and between center so this you will get in i have written here in single quotes that's the comment part vertical alignment horizontal alignment so let us see that if i execute step by step you can observe what will happen here i'll just move the screen like this so you can see now if you want to execute step by step i'll click on this step into Okay, again, I'll click on step into. So now it will say as Excel left. Right now they are on the right. I want them Excel left. If I click on the step into, you observe A1 to C5 went on the left hand side. Again, it is on the same thing. A1 to C5 left. Again, if I click on this place, okay, you see that it is changing the position here. If I click on step into, now it will become for the vertical alignment as the top. Now it is on the top position. If I click on this, I want in the bottom part, I'll just click on this place. You see everything came in the bottom and the last one is nothing but Excel center. So I'll just click on this Excel center. Now everything has come into the middle part in the horizontal as well as the vertical manner, both are in the center part. And I'll just click on this step into and finally it is done, right? So I hope you're able to understand how do we work on the alignment part using the macros VBA. It is very, very simple range dot horizontal alignment or range dot vertical alignment. That's it. And you can put the values itself. That's all for this video and I hope you have understood. Thank you.